I want to share a little more with you guys, I think, uh, our situation when we were, when we had the Christian radio station that I talked about on a video before this. And, um, we were, we went through some really hard times. We, um, had a lot of things that, that, uh, we, we began to lose and we didn't have, and, and we had to, um, end up completely dependent on God, which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Um, but there's this one thing that, that kind of happened in that first year. We still had a place to live. That first year we had an apartment and we had, weren't homeless yet. But things were getting tight fast and we knew we were heading in that direction and trying to figure out what we were going to do. And so this interesting thing, the way God works sometimes, I was really worried one day and and panicked what was going to happen to my family. Were we going to be okay? Maybe we shouldn't have ever come here. You know, I mean, all the things you, you do when you begin to, to go through a hard time and you start to second guess things. But there's this scripture. You probably know it. Philippians 5, 19. Well, actually, let me, well, yeah, no, we'll just go with that. Um, it says, and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Okay. doesn't say he'll supply all your wants, but he will supply all your needs. And God began to, I, I mean, I had memorized that scripture when I was a little girl and he began to remind me about it and, you know, and I'll, I'll take care of your needs. And I just, I was so worried. I was so worried. Well, then an interesting happened. Interesting thing. So I got a little sample. One of the, they don't do this anymore, but they used to mail you little samples of things in the mail. So it was for a laundry soap. And so it's this little tiny box with some laundry soap in it. And there was what, I don't know, maybe there'd be enough to do two loads, you know, for you to try out their laundry soap and then take the coupon and go buy some at the store. Well, I got this little, this little, uh, uh box in the mail with the sample and I was out of laundry soap, so I thought, well, okay, I can do a load of laundry today. So I poured some of it out, put it in, did a load of laundry. I still had laundry to do the next day. Well, there should be at least a second one, so I poured a little out, did a load of laundry. And you know what? <laughs> that little box, that little sample, and I mean little, okay, not very big. It probably held between two and four ounces. But it did my laundry for a month before it ever ran empty. And I took notice that it was like the widow's jar of oil that just kept pouring oil out until everything was full. And so the one day when it finally went empty as I poured some out, it you know, it, the last of it came out and there was no more in it. And so I was like, okay, so you took care of this month with laundry soap. But now what are we going to do? So now I, I guess I take the coupon and get a little money off to get some laundry soap because I could still get it. And about then, there was a, a knock at my door, and we were staying in an apartment. We actually were in the process of moving out, getting ready to move out, and we still had a, a, like another month on our lease, so I could still do my laundry and stuff. And so I go over to, the, you know, and I look out the peephole, because we were in an apartment. There was nobody there. But it looked like there was something, you know how those peepholes kind of do that fisheye view? Like there was something down uh, in front of my door. And so I opened the door and there was this gigantic box of laundry soap. And I thought, well, what's this doing here? Because I wouldn't, you know, I bet it's for the guy across from us. So I went and knocked on their door and I said, hey, there's this box of laundry soap outside my door, but I don't understand why it was. It. So it must be for you guys. And they're like, no, we don't have any laundry soap coming. That wouldn't be ours. And, you know, and so I asked around and nobody knew anything about it. And they're like, I, it's got to be your laundry soap somebody left for you. I have, to this day, I have no idea where that laundry soap came from. But that laundry soap lasted me like a year. And I just scooped some out because we ended up having to go to laundromats. And hey, let me tell you, God's at the laundromat. God used to meet us at the laundromat. And we had some of the best times with Jesus in the laundromat, but that's another story. So anyway, 
God just, he kept providing it. At the end of that year, I could afford to buy laundry soap, but you know what? Got another sample in the mail and it lasted again, like another month. Even though I got to a point when we finally got back on our feet and I could go get things, God still kept providing. And he just told me, I don't want you to ever forget that whatever your need is, I'm going to take care of you. You know, how significant is laundry soap to you? Well, when you don't have any, you know, it, it, it helps to have some. But even then, if you had to wash your clothes with no soap at all, I mean, as long as you had water. I mean, it's not, I don't sit, I make my own laundry soap now because, you know, I'm a weird old lady. But in all the years, I don't think I've ever been like, given a lot of thought to my laundry soap. I mean, you just get the cheapest laundry. I mean, that's the way I always was. You just get the cheapest laundry soap you can get and that'll go the furthest. And, you know, because I don't want to put a lot of money into my laundry soap. But so to me, it was a very insignificant thing in the big picture. But God took care of it, even though it was insignificant to me and I could have lived without it. He took care of it. And that has stuck with me. And every time I see this scripture, and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I always remember the laundry soap. Yeah. He takes care of us. He loves us. We can trust him. So that was just another lesson from that time of trusting him. So the miracle of the laundry soap. Okay. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to su subscribe. If you haven't shared these videos, please feel free to share them on uh, Facebook or wherever, you know, you do other social media and so that other people can see them. I'm just hoping that they're an encouragement to someone, um, that it helps out somehow. Maybe make some of my stories are just silly. Maybe just make your day a little better. But anyway, um, please uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video goes up tomorrow. And, you know, every time somebody hits that, that thumbs up thing, that's encouraging to me. But feel free to leave um, a comment for me. And if you've got a prayer request, you can leave it there in the comments. And I, because I look at all the comments, I will pray for you. Um, if you want it to be more personal, if you look in the about part on my on my page, you can click on my little icon. It should take you to my page. And that gives you my email address. And you can always contact me that way if you want it, you know, something that you want everybody to see. So I just, I love hearing from you guys. I love being able to sit down and have this coffee and a chat with you and, and share some of the things that God showed me in life. And um, yeah, so I hope you have a great day. I love you. God loves you. That's even more important. And um, I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. Hit the button, Angie. Hit the button. Bye.